my friends, welcome back to another episode of Mathematics Motivations. Guys, I'm coming to you today from my soul. So, I don't know who all watches these videos, but I know this. I know the reason why I do these videos is to truly give you value and serve you for free. Because I have been where you're at. See, I want to talk to you today about five ways to get money flowing in your life. Guys, I've been there. As a guy that started over 31 different businesses, that's been an entrepreneur since I was 18 years old. In other words, I haven't worked a job since I was 18 years old. So the journey has obviously been filled with a lot of like ups and downs and risk and failures and struggle and like I said, some of you guys that know my story know that I once lived in a Sunday school room. I've been high and I've been low. I've had money and I've been broke. And uh, so I want to talk to you guys because I know that, you know, it's the holiday season or who knows when you're watching this video. Maybe you didn't discover it till summertime. So who cares when it is? All I know is I know there's some people out there that you are in some tough, really tough financial times. Maybe you are overwhelmed with debt. Maybe you just lost your job. Maybe you have just been financially irresponsible and you lived outside of your means and you didn't budget and you didn't, you know, or maybe you haven't worked as hard as you should have or you haven't, you know, been as diligent or as focused. But here's what I know, guys. I know it's possible for anybody out there to get out of debt, to become financially Free. I know that's possible, but the key is, is for you to understand how to get the flow of money in your life because money is easy. Remember, money is an energy. Money is spiritual. And uh, there's a reason why a lot of people out there uh, make money and there's a reason why a lot of people don't. And honestly, let's think about it. We all have the same 24 hours. I know people that are not as smart as you that make more money than you. So it has nothing to do with intelligence has nothing to do with luck, because I know people that had absolutely the most horrible luck that are now multimillionaires. I know people that came to this country with $100 in their pocket and didn't even speak English that are now loaded financially. So it goes to show you guys, and that's part of the thing that I want to address today, is if you have any of these limiting beliefs of like, you know, I'm just not lucky, or I wish I had a dad like that, or my parents didn't set me up, or nobody taught me about money, or I'm not skilled, or I wish I was taller, or I wish I was smarter, or I wish I had better personality. Guys, that has zero to do with money, okay? Money, there's an abundance of money in this world. There's no shortage of money. Anybody watching this video can become wealthy. Anybody watching this video can get some money flow in your life, okay? But you gotta listen to what I'm gonna tell you, so here it goes. Number one, number one. You must, I mean must, I don't care if you don't watch TV or movies for the next 30 days. I don't care if you don't do anything but work and sleep. I need you to do one more thing. And that's read and do Think and Grow Rich. Listen to me. I know that you guys are probably thinking, well, I've read that book, but I know people that have read Think and Grow Rich that are not making money. You know why? Because they read it, but they're not doing it. The key is to do what the book tells you to do. Literally, guys, this is the time where you turn your phone off, you eliminate distractions, and you slow down. And you read this book, and you underline, and you circle, and you take notes. And you literally do what the book is teaching you to do. If you do what Thinking Rich they, the book Think and, Rich tells you, Think and Grow Rich tells you to do, look at me, look at me. You will make money. You will begin to manifest wealth. You will get out of debt. You will be able to pay your bills, okay? Now, it's not gonna be a quick fix. It's not gonna happen overnight, okay? And I know some of you are stressed right now and money's tight. And you got bills coming in, and I get that, my friends. I get it. I've been there. I've done that. But you have to understand, worrying about it isn't going to solve anything. You've got to get it. Money is like a magnet. You've got to become the magnet that literally attracts money to you. Okay? And this is how you do it. 
There are principles in that book that it doesn't matter where you're from. You could be living in your car watching this video. You could be $750,000 in debt. You could have just had your house foreclosed, your car repoed, and you could have just gone through bankruptcy and still end up on top if you follow the principles of Think and Grow Rich, okay? So, number two, you must have an absolute clearing of your energy about money beliefs. Any negative money beliefs that you have. Case in point, I'll talk to people and they'll say things like, I can't afford that. That's a bad money belief, okay? Or people that say, I'm broke, or I don't have money, or it just seems like every time it rains, it pours. Those are bad money beliefs, my friends. Those are net, listen, or, or you know that rich person, he thinks he's all that, or you know, he's lucky, I wish I had his money. How many times have you heard people say, well, I wish I had their money, or think about the people that play the lottery, those people have negative money beliefs, okay? You think that life's all of a sudden, you're just gonna have this lucky moment and you're gonna, you're gonna guess the right amount of numbers and you're gonna get millions. That's not how life works, my friends, at all. You want money? You gotta fix your money beliefs. No negativity about success. No negativity about wealthy people. Nothing negative comes out of your mouth about money, even the good or bad, people that have screwed you over. You don't know say all the rich, they think they can just walk all over you. No, you have the most positive, abundant mindset and energy about money. You, let's say you can't afford it. You don't say I can't afford it. You say, you know what? I currently don't have the cash right now, but I will, okay? So if you want something, right? Let's say, let's say you know Christmas comes around and you can't buy gifts for your kids. This is not a time to sink into depression. This is not a time to feel like a failure. You just say, hey, you know what? Um, we currently don't have the cash right now, but we will. And maybe you have to look at your family and say, we're gonna celebrate Christmas in February this year, guys. So we're still blessed, we're still happy, we're positive. We've got love, and love is more important than presents anyways. But I'm just throwing that out there for you guys, okay? But you gotta clear all the negative beliefs. So here's how you do it. Make a list of all the negative beliefs, all the negative things you've heard about rich people, about money. Make a list, okay? And make sure that you don't believe any of that junk. Make sure that you don't think that way. Make sure that as you make this list of all the negative things you've heard about, money don't grow on trees. Money doesn't buy you happiness. If you say the words, money doesn't buy you happiness, that tells me that you have a negative money belief. Because people that are abundant never say that. People that are abundant don't even think that way, okay? People that are abundant, it just doesn't even enter their brain to think in those terms. People that are abundant could be down to five cents and they'll look at that nickel and think, how can I turn this into $5? And then they'll look at that $5 and think, how can I turn this into $500? They're always thinking about opportunities. They're always thinking about how can I multiply? They're always thinking about how can I use this, how can I invest, right? People that have healthy money beliefs, they invest in themselves. They invest in coaching. They invest in their future. People that have negative money beliefs, all they do is spend. Their car payment is more important than their success. If you spend more money on your car than you do your personal growth, you're not poised for success, my friends. You're still playing small. You're still playing at a mediocre, below average uh, place in life. When you, you're telling God in the universe that your car means more to you than your future. Okay, cars are cars, y'all. You're better off Ubering. You're better off biking. You're better off taking the bus. You're better off driving a beater, okay, than, than, than putting all your money into some car for an extra 100 likes on your Instagram. An extra hundred likes, okay, cool, my friends. Or your friends thinking, oh, I love your car. Good, have a car. But let me see that you have a coach. Let me see that you've gone to a retreat or a seminar. Let me see that you've invested in yourself, okay? Number three, you wanna get money flowing in your life? Make a list of everything you can sell. 
See, one of our mentors has this thing on his wall says, what's the fastest way to cash? Okay, guys, you got to be thinking, how can I make money? How can I make money? What can I sell? You probably got 40 things in your house you can sell right now. Put it on eBay, put it on Craigslist, put it on Facebook Marketplace and sell, sell, sell. But that's only temporary. You must become a creator. God did not put you on this earth to go work for somebody else the rest of your life. You were born to create a product or a service that changes people's lives and solve problems. You must think, how can I become a problem solver? What can I do for people that solves problems and makes their life easier? And then you wake up and you say to yourself, I don't care if you're shy, I don't care if you have never even thought like this, you need to learn how to sell, okay? I don't care if you work at UPS, you need to learn how to sell. Every breathing human being must master the art of selling. You want money? You need to be a salesman. The highest paid people in the world, they're not even celebrities, they're salespeople. The highest paid people in companies, you know the highest salesperson in most companies makes more money than the CEO? That's the power of sales. Commission-based sales. Okay, so find an opportunity to sell something. Start with what can I sell? Get everything, put it in one place in the room, take pictures of it, get it on eBay, get it on Craigslist, get it on Facebook Marketplace, and just start selling it. Okay, get the cash flowing, all right? And then number four, wake up every day and say, okay, this is the new me. I am gonna wake up from the time I wake up until I go to bed, I'm about one thing. How can I serve people? How can I give value? A lot of you, I love you, you're thumb suckers. Okay, you're not giving value. You, listen, if you died tonight, besides maybe your uncle and your cousins and, and a couple of family members, nobody's gonna be devastated because you're not making any splashes. You're not doing anything to change people's lives. So why don't you wake up to, tomorrow morning and say, I'm gonna be the biggest encourager. I'm gonna be the kindest, most giving. I'm gonna serve. I'm gonna put in the sweat. I'm gonna go the extra. If you got a job, you literally should become the number one employee of that company. You should literally go 15 minutes early and stay 30 minutes late. And do go above and beyond. Go the extra mile. Okay? That's how you get money flowing. Money doesn't take people serious that are average or that are complacent or that just barely get by. But if you wake up and you say, you know what? I'm going to be excellent. I'm going to serve people. I'm going to give value. I'm going to change people's lives. Money begins to pay attention and says, you know what? I, you know, it's kind of like this. You know, my friends, here's the deal. People, anybody out there can become wealthy if you wake up wanting to solve problems, help people, serve people, and give value. If you do that, you're going to win. And last but not least, my friends, I have to tell you, if you want to get money flowing in your life, it's time to stop worrying and stressing about money. Money, when you're tight, when you're tense, when you're stressed, when you're screaming at the kids, when you're like cussing out the bill collectors. Guys, I love you. I really want to help you, but it just doesn't work. Okay? You're at rock bottom right now. You got bills over your head. Okay? You're overwhelmed. But I get it. But it's time to get into gratitude. It's time to get positive. It's time to get the vibes and the frequencies higher of positivity, of love, of happiness, of joy, of power, of saying, you know what? We're gonna come out of this. We're gonna pull ourselves out of this. We're, we're like a magnet. We're gonna attract. We're gonna manifest money. We're gonna become abundant. So rather than worrying and stressing, you become abundant and you say, you know what? I know you need $500 once you think, how can I get $5,000 in the next 24 hours, okay? Not out of a desperate energy, but out of a power energy, out of what's possible, out of being out of out of saying, hey, where's the opportunity here? How can I make fifty thousand dollars in the next three days? Okay, how can I make a hundred and fifty thousand in the next ninety days? And that's instead of thinking about the problem, you start thinking about the possibility. You start thinking about solving. You start thinking about abundance and you don't allow stress and you don't allow worry and you don't allow that negativity to come into your energy 
Now, obviously, there's so much more to cover when it comes to this. But let's go back to the title of this YouTube video. How to get money flowing in your life. The five things I just gave you guys, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what's going on, this will work. But you got to do it. You got to do the simple. You got to do the little things that I taught you to do, my friends. So real quick, let me close out with this. This is why you must write a book. Because if you get into something like Maddox Publishing, we teach our authors how to make money with your book. We teach you how to use that book and grow a business with it. So rather than thinking about how can I get a job, think about what business can I create? How can I work for myself so that instead of making $10 an hour, I'm making $1,000 an hour. That's what I need you guys thinking there, okay, my friends? If there's anything that I can do to serve you in any way, just comment below or find me on Facebook or LinkedIn or Instagram or Snapchat. I'm going to put my email address in here. Shoot me an email. Guys, comment what was your biggest takeaway. Comment what you loved most about this video and how it served you and what you're going to do different as a result. I love you. I believe in you. Make sure you share this out on your social media so that we can encourage other people. You guys have a great day, my friends.